Welcome back with a new, new video on Solution Channel. Today we will solve capture the flag room on try hack me. So let's go with task number one. First one here we have to guess the sphere here. I think it will be can you capture the flag? And yeah, it's right. Okay, so let's go to another one. Here I think it's it looks like a binary, so I want to go to Cyberchef tool. Okay. So it looks like a binary. So I want to convert from binary to normal text. Here I want to use a binary from binary. Okay. So here we got the flag or the answer. So let's go to another one. Another one, this one is either base 32 or base 64. I'm not sure about it but I want to like to guess both of them so I want to start first with 32 uh, here I don't want this from no okay here we got the answer it's 32 so let's go to another one here. I think it's 64. Why? Because the first one was 32. So it's just guessing. 64 from 64 to normal text. Okay, here we got sentence. Each 64 digit represents exactly 6 bits of data. Yeah, it works. For this one, it looks like hexadecimal. Okay, it looks like hexadecimal, but wait. We will see if it's work or not, but let's from hexadecimal to normal text. Okay. Hexadecimal or base 16 is the answer, yeah. So for this one, it looks like a normal word, but it has no meaning. So this close to root cipher. Root simply works by substitute characters based on a rotation of numbers of letters. In an alphabet, for example, row 13 will replace each letter with the letter 13 places down the alphabet. So A will be N, B will become O, and so on. So let's try with root. Here's the input. Root. Here we got first one, row 13. Okay. Rotate me. Okay. Yeah. So this one is similar to previous one. So I want to choose, let me choose row 13. Okay, it doesn't work. I want to choose another one. First 47. Okay, here it works. You spin me right. Round baby right, okay. This one looks like Morse code. Okay. Morse code. From Morse code. And root 47. We don't need it right now. And let's copy it here. Okay. Telecommunication encoding. Well, for the next one, here we have some choices. Because it contains only numbers, either it is decimal, binary, octal, or hexadecimal. I can try to decode it with each one. I will try it. First, I want to choose a binary. Okay, here we got nothing. I want to choose octal. Here we got nothing, oh my god. Let's go to decimal. To decimal. Aha, uh -huh. here we got th something. And yeah, it works. Oh my god, what this? Let's see. Okay. By looking at the end of the cipher, here we have like equal sign. Equal sign, it's base 64 or 32. 
So let's see. There's thirty two. Okay, here we got nothing as thirty two. So this is the sixty four. Thirty two goodbye, sixty four, okay. Uh, from uh -huh. here we got Morse code. Okay. Here we got Morse code. From Morse code. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we got another one. Here we have something like binary. Okay. So let's decode it from binary to normal text. Binary, okay, from binary. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we got something like rotation, I think. It looks like type of rotation cipher, but I want to try rotation 13 and after that uh, 47. Okay, here we got nothing. Let's try forty seven. Okay, here we got something like ASCII. Okay, ASCII. Here we don't have ASCII, so let's. I want to go to another tool. So let's paste the ASCII code here and I want it to text okay let's make this a bit trickier okay and we got the final question for this task so let's go to the another one here they are talking about spectrograms here we have a file it's a wav okay here we have a hint udacity okay I will use udacity tool but let's see so here we have the file that we downloaded already and here we have the Udacity tool for the notes. Okay, let's open it. Okay. So this file is contain uh, information inside it and we have a hint which is Udacity here we using this tool. So we are using Udacity tool and it changed the view to spectrum spectrogram to view the secret message okay how we can change the view here we have a box here and we can change from waveform to spectrogram for and here we have the super secret message okay super secret message and yeah it works so let's go to the another one Stenography. Okay, here we have a file. Here we have a photo. Okay, so I want to open it with. So here we have a stenographic decoder tool, which decode the image to find the word that is uh, inside that image. So let's go here. Choose take our image and let's. Here we have no password for it and okay let's go here and here we got the word that's inside that photo so let's use it and yeah it works so let's go to the last one last task here we have a task file which is about a meme photo okay here we got a photo but I want to open it by strings. Uh, in. So here we got two lines that make sense. The rest of them are meaningless. So we cannot like um, use them. So the important thing here we have okay download and get inside the file what is the first file name and extension so here we have file name okay here we got the last one is a file name
Yeah, get inside the archive and inspect the file carefully. Find the hidden text. Hidden text, I think this will work. Yeah, finally, thank you guys for watching and see you in another content.